Hey y'all, Biohack here with another live arena video. All right, let's see what's new on the account. Well, something kind of interesting happened. I decided to swap clans. That's right. Um, we have the clan vs. clan coming out very soon. And honestly, I've had really good experiences with my old clan, nothing against them or anything. But I've been talking with Shinny a lot recently, and I know he's been planning on going into the new clan vs. clan stuff and some other arena friends over in the arena enjoyers clan. And so I made the switch uh, just in time for clan CVC or clan PV PVP, I guess it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start getting more involved in this and see how it goes. And hopefully we can do some good stuff, but I'm excited, I'm excited to join the new clan. Other than that, nothing too crazy. I realized after uh, yesterday streamer on yesterday's stream that I miscalculated the number of how did I get a mystery shard from a shop purchase the heck oh from the free free mystery shard okay anyway um yeah so uh we've got I calculated this wrong uh, I need basically like 10 more keys to get to the first mission here um, so it took me four days, but you know, that's fine. It's going to take me four days to clear 25 stages anyway. So yeah, we'll get that in the reset tomorrow, which is fine because I don't think the champ chase tournament starts until, uh, after more than 24 hours from now. Right. Or are they showing it yet? Yeah. It's not even showing up on the list yet. I think it won't start until maybe 24 hours from when this starts. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, moral of the story is. We'll get Carnage before the tournament starts, and then we'll pull both those champions, which we've been talking about in like every video for a week, so you guys don't need to know it. Let's go ahead and check our Soul Merchant. No Sulfurion Soul. That's a bummer. Really looking forward to getting that. I'm like, I kind of want this new, um, this new Faction Unity Lizard champion. He seems like he could actually be kind of fun and potentially actually useful in Arena. It's really hard to run a bunch of faction unity lizards in arena, but we could make it work with Sulfurion and Ramantu. There is maybe a world where something interesting could happen there with uh, those two plus the faction unity guy. I won't pull him in the sacred shard thing, but I assume they're going to do a prism shard event with him in the future. And I have been looking into this and thinking about it more like some of those prism shard events might actually be like one of the most reliable ways to max a faction and I would kind of like to max lizard men for Sulfurion. I don't really have any other lizards that I use that are particularly meta in PvP right now. I think it's kind of just Sulfurion is the only one that has potential, and I'm not even using him that much right now, but partly that's just because of gear and things. Krisk sees a tiny bit of play. Krokmar sees a tiny bit of play. Pytheon, I guess, sees some amount of play. He's not unheard of. Ramansu doesn't really see play either, so I don't know. But Ramansu with this, like, if you run these three, Teox, Ramansu, and Sulfurion, I think that could be interesting. Lazarius would be interesting as well, but he doesn't benefit from the Faction Guardians, so go in trying to get that done is less important. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I think we're just going to go ahead and jump into the fights. One of the things that happened, actually here, oh, too late. One of the things that happened recently that I haven't been mentioning is we actually passed Tiger RR for most live arena matches played. So currently I am the most arena matches played of anyone in the top 100. And I imagine it's pretty hard to not be in the top 100 if you've played, you know, over almost 10,000 battles. Uh, which is pretty crazy. So uh, there's, a, there's a possibility that I actually have the most live arena battles played of anyone in the game, <laughs> which would be kind of wild if that's actually true. But it it's at least possible. We passed 9,000 recently. So pretty good, pretty good. It doesn't even feel like it's that crazy, but I think it's because my battles just tend to be so much faster than other people's. Um, Cyclobenzene runs Siegfried, Harima, Taurus, Tormin, Arbiter, Kaja, Crixia, Marichka, Armands, Makage. But the Arbiter, or the Kaja and the Arbiter pick are usually just to try and take them from me. Because I don't think they're super well built. I don't know. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. I think the Kaja's like two star. This Armons, I can't remember if this Armons is in stone skin. My notes say it's not in stone skin, so it could be a fast Armons. 
I gotta, I gotta start stocking up, getting ready for the Armand's progressive chance events. Okay, so we did go with the Kaja. Grab the Georgian. Um, actually, you know what? I need to run. I think I need to run Wukong and Sulfurion. Is that what I want to do? Let's try it. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have run. Uh, so I shouldn't have run that. I should have run. Um, should have run. What's his name? Shazar. Uh, kind of screwed. Kind of screwed. Do do do. Kind of screwed. Yeah, I should have run Shazar. Messed that up. I guess we're still gonna have to run Shazar. That is... Oh, just fine. Gotta not weak hit the Siegfried and the... Armands. That's really annoying. Are you kidding me, dude? I can't catch a break here. Not only did he lock out the wrong ability, he did it again. Jesus, man. Come on. Oh, my music stopped. Hold on. Fix that. Or maybe I never started it. Oh, let me pick first, please. Come on. It's really interesting that you would go for a plus four Armands and then put him in stone skin. It feels kind of pointless to go for plus four if you're not gonna like build him super speed. Okay, so we can just ban the... Crixia. Do I want to play it like this? How do we want to play this? See, what's the best way to play this? I think we probably want to save that. Lock out.
shoot. I think Rhonda's gonna be. Good here, maybe not. Ooh, okay. That should be good. That should be fine. This will. Oh, wait, we got the R. Shit. Is. Ugh. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Stop just playing trying to steal my shit. Every fight is just trying to steal my shit. Leave my Kaja and my Arbiter and my Crixia alone. Oh my god, three times in a row? Let me pick first. Yes! This Arbiter, I feel like, is just a purely trying to steal Arbiter. Rather than a... Um, rather than a legitimate, that was even worse than the, Kaja ban. It's gotta not get polyed. Yes, I was like, please give me the turn meter push back on the Siegfried. Oh shoot, now I can't kill this. Um... Marichka, damn it! I should have sheeped the Stalthus, or the Taurus. That was, that was my bad. Yeah, I threw that. Damn it. That was super dumb. I was like, oh, he's stunned. Let's go for the other one. No, wrong play. I go for the tar sheep. Let's do it. So, I think we want to go to activate that. Uh, 
Actually, that was a mistake. I should have saved that ability for the... Um, for the... Taurus, but it's fine. Armand's man is so broken. So broken. It's ridiculous how you can just shut a team down permanently. It wasn't even... I didn't even really need his other abilities. Just the A2 was keeping the whole team locked out. Um, all right, well, we lost because, uh, he has Taurus and Siegfried and Stoneskin and Gizmak and Stoneskin and Galathir and Crixia, although I guess we got Crixia. Actually, does he have Crixia? He's got Marichka. There's literally nothing I can do. Not until we get, um... Not until we get the other nukers. Uh, I think I have to use Alika. I don't think I can. I don't. The, uh, there, I really should never be able to win with a go if he picks first. If I don't get Armands. Interesting. Gonna have to have, have to try and win the speed race. This Shuzen used to be faster than Arbiter, uh, but I don't know if that's still true after I got the blessing on the Arbiter. Yeah, it is. It's just, there's, there's literally nothing I can do. I can't win that. I can't even run go second because Gizmak will just uh, bust through the stone skin. I, I literally can't win. I've said this forever, though, against CGZ's account. Like, I, it, there is no way for me to beat that account without Gizmak or maybe Marius. But when you have multiple... Oh, well, unless I pick first. If I pick first, then there's... Uh, hope but if he gets Armands and then there's Siegfried and Gizmak and you know Taurus or whatever just the stone skin the, basically Siegfried and Gizmak are the really big ones um along with Armands and stone skin and then Marichka or at least the threat of Marichka there's no there's no way to win because you have to kill the Gizmak there's nothing you can do to shut Gizmak down other than kill him. And you can't kill him through stone skin. Unless you run bombs. I mean, I guess I could try and... No, Fatalis can't do it. And he's faster than me with the shoes end, so I have to ban the shoes end if he bans the Kaja. Uh, how about Val here? What can we do against Val? It's probably a loss as well. Um... Uh... So his Armand's is faster than Arbiter. Siegfried's not in stone skin.
I have to ban Armand's. Probably just play Rondo. What? Okay. Oh, our bias is faster than, um... Oh, everyone's faster. Jesus. Damn. I'm, uh, I'm a little surprised the Seek Friend was that fast. Just Crixia only gives a 2% or a 10%. Uh, faster than... I need to, like, that's one of the fights I need to fix my Kaja for. When we get the Marius and the Carnage, we can put the Kaja back in um, Divine Speed and make her faster. Also, having the Carnage with his better Speed Aura would make a big difference, because there's like a 10 speed differential in the Speed Aura. So I'm gonna have to I have to get that. I'm gonna have to use Carnage, but I want to use Carnage anyway. Carnage Marius against a Siegfried plus Marius good team. Um, Savage. Oh, what does Savage run again? He's a fast shoes in. Fatalis, Narcy's Brass, Gladden, Stoneskin, Evo, Wound Kong. Okay, so we're going to run uh, sort of our standard opener, uh, Armand's Kaja Crixia. Someone asked in the YouTube comment section that I explain why my, do I'm doing my picks more as I'm doing the picks. So this is just our standard. We kind of open with this every time. Kaja's my fastest. These two are just good lockout. Uh, we know that the um, Shuzen is faster than my Arbiter in the past. So we're going to ban the Shuzen. And he doesn't have any must-kill nukers, but I don't... He's known to run Fatalis, Narcis, Brassclad, Queen Ava, and Wukong. Um, I'm going to run these guys. So I picked Staltus and, and Fatalis basically because I know I'm going to get Lockout into the fight. Assuming I, I'm assuming he's going to ban Armands. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have him locked out, which means all my new nukers need to do is survive against the A1s. He's probably going to pick Wukong here. If I were him, I would pick Wukong. I would not pick Ramansu. That's... A bad pick. Um, so we're going to ban the Shuzen. He bans, uh, he bans Kaja. That was, I was not really expecting the Kaja ban. Actually, I should have expected the Kaja ban because he picked the Shuzen and the Shuzen is there to beat the Kaja. But um, I know that the rest of my stuff is too fast, so it's probably not an issue. Very few people can actually uh, beat my nukers. Um, so yeah, we wanted, we wanted nukers that wouldn't die while playing locked out. We're going to just a three. Nice. And now the fight's basically over. Um, he cannot kill Fatalis. Ooh, can't kill Armands either. Uh, just gonna do this. Just for the turn meter boost. Let's we'll probably nuke right here and it'll be done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so obviously he got the A2 reset of the Narcis with the Ancora A1. So we still had a potential there, but point was the same. Tanky nukers to not die to A1s from Narcis. Okay, we get to pick first, so we're opening Armands. Uh, this player runs Nishak, Narcis in Stoneskin, as well as a Wukong, and Korra Arbiter, Podrig, Duchess, Mikage with Stoneskin, Relentless. 
Uh, they are also known to ban Kaja, but their Arbiter is not fast enough to beat either of these two in the speed race. So if they try that, we'll be playing with Lockout. So again, this might be a very good fight to run double tanky nukers that can survive despite being Lockout. The one caveat to that is they like to run Wukong. Now, when you're running double lockout, Wukong isn't that as much of a threat as normal because he um, he just struggles to deal as much damage when um, or you know he you you have some play even if you. Even if he gets to take a turn, it's not necessarily over. I think I'm a little bit tempted to run my own Wukong here. Um, Fatalis or... You know what? I'm going to run Staltus over Fatalis. So the reason I'm picking Wukong here is because my Wukong is built in stone skin. A, I can stop him from picking Wukong. Yeah, I thought he would pick the rat. Um, I don't want to play this. I'm going to go with the Mikage ban. Oh, he didn't do what I thought he was going to do. So we know the Narcis and the... Nishak are in stone skin. Uh, I should have gone with the Fatalis. Shoot. Um, okay, so... Well, actually, no. This is going to be fine. So the way we're going to play this is... Turn meter boost. Um, let's still turn meter from the Arbiter. We're going to poly the... Narcis. Oh, we just straight up... Strip stone skin, beautiful. Okay, he's gonna revive the Narcissus, and then Wu Pong is gonna smack it back down. Um, the Wu Kong was very helpful there, also because I wasn't expecting the Crixia ban. Not not a bad ban necessarily. Um, because everyone was in stone skin, but the Wu Kong would have been able to shut down the Nishak with a Polymorph if. We didn't pull the stone skin off, so that would have been nice. Okay. It doesn't really matter. The um, Narcissus is not going to be able to kill Kaja with no uh, with his health destroyed. Look at that. Couldn't even couldn't even take her down to half. Yeah, life harvest just <laughs> completely nullifies him. Okay, we've got constant. He gets Armons. It's a bummer. He has Taurus, Mesmel, Siegfried, Roto, Sarima, Gizmag, Tormund, Narses, uh, Sifi, Marichka, Shuzen, Crixia, Galathir, Arbias, Armons, Yumiko. We know that the Arbias is faster than my Kaja, but his Armons is not very quick. So we are going to have to ban the Arbias, which means we're going to be dealing with whatever nukers he the ro well, okay, it depends. We could bait him into... Yeah, okay, so he's going with the Marichka. Um... I don't think his Armands is in stone skin last time we fought. So we're taking a huge gamble here. If the Armands is in stone skin and he goes Gizmak, I lose. If he, I'm assuming he's going to go Galathir Gizmak right here. Could also... Yeah, no, he, he should go Galathir Gizmak. Uh, well, oh wait, I was worried about the Siegfriend, but if he does that, then he won't have the Siegfriend. Okay, um... Ah, okay, he goes Lazarius and 
our bias. I kind of question whether my Wukong has enough accuracy. play this a lot of ways. I was going to say, his best bet is honestly probably to just ban the Georgian. Ah, oh, I should have run Fatalis. Oh, I should have run Fatalis. I forgot. I can't. I needed to ban Lazarius. Shit. So, we need a Crixia strip on the um, on the we need to not weak hit and we need multiple Crixia strips we didn't get we got poly so i think that's game i think it was game pretty much regardless <sighs> yeah okay just did that to see if maybe we could steal the stone skin off the um lazarus and kill him that way it was unlikely but that was really our only option um, yeah, I should have run Fatalis. I forgot about the fact that you need two stone skin penetrators if you're going to ban someone other than Lazarus. Oh, the current mythical meta sucks. Ugh. You need Gizmak. I need Gizmak. So bad. He's the only option. He's the only option to deal with this shit. Unless I was faster. But it's not even... It's not even speed. Okay, I get the Armands this time, so they'll make it a lot easier. At least give me a shot. It's just so many stone skin mythicals. Even Marius is a little tough to use in that fight because of the Marichka and the Taurus. Yeah, I get the Crixia. Actually, the Crixia is... Just Crix is kind of whatever. Oops. I want to play this. I assume he's going to run Galath here. He's never run this Wukong against me before. I could run Foley. So the idea behind running fully, uh, hold on, sorry, drop something on the ground. Oh, Freaking Siegfried, God damn it! Okay, how can we play this? We have to block revive the Wukong. That sucks. Oh, it's basically game. Did I run into reaction or did I just fail to kill her?
Uh, this is the guy with the fast Kaja. Or fast shoes in, rather. But my, actually, my notes are, might be outdated. Let me put a speed on it. Um, ooh, nukers are known to use Fatalis, Narcis, Brassclad, Ava, Wukong. Go, Georgian. If he goes with Brassclad, I think I might run a Lika and ban Narcis. Try it. It's really tempting to ban Georgia in this scenario, so they might do that, yeah. So we need to see if we get the weak hit on the Armands. We do, so we're going to drop Alika Lockout. That really sucks. Because of the... Brass Glad, so now we're like in a really awkward position. So what I think we want to do is go here. I actually should have turn meter boosted right there because I'm going to reset. Really hope she doesn't, he doesn't provoke me. Okay, good. See how hard this hits. 209,000! Alika, man. Alika smacks. People don't know. We pushed her back, and then we pushed her back twice, so I think she might still be on cooldown. Doesn't matter. All right, that's going in the thumbnail. Alika. Alika getting it done! Hell yeah! And we totally would have lost that fight if it wasn't for Alika because we weak hit that Armand's and her ability to lock him out is what sealed the deal. 100%. 100%. Hell yeah! Alika coming in hot, getting it done. All right, how do we do today? One, two, three, four, five. 50 50. What do you expect? Every day is 50 50 these days. All right, we're still ranked 56, so it is what it is. Um, we got some tough opponents, though. We didn't win any of them either, which is kind of a bummer. Constant. It's just so freaking hard. It's so freaking hard with these stone skin mythicals that you just... There's no options to deal with them other than Gizmak. Even Gizmak is questionable against Mar uh, Marichka teams, but at least you could bring Gizmak and ban the Marichka and then drop it on, like, a, uh, you get through the um, Galathir. Actually, Sulfurion might be able to work too. I mean, I'm... Definitely, like, I really want to build Sulfurion. Actually, Sulfurion plus the new Faction Wars, uh, or Faction, um, what do they call them? Not Faction Guardian. I keep wanting to say Faction Guardian. Whatever, whatever. The Faction Unity Champion, that's what it is. Uh, it could be kind of interesting, actually, because he kind of 
works with debuffs and then um gets these like turn meter boosts from debuffs and things so you could just open with a, a sh um sulfurion and get like 40 percent turn meter boost or something like that it's pretty interesting so anyway all right that's gonna be it for me today i will see you all in the next one have a good one cheers